Vishnu Swami mentioned that there was this big festival it's out in San Francisco. It's called Rathayatra. And they were all going to go, you know, the whole group of them were going to jump into this little tiny uh, car that the devotees owned and drive out to San Francisco. And uh, would I like to go? Would my teacher like to go? We both had jobs. And uh, we just, I don't know why, but for some reason, Krishna's arrangement, it didn't happen. You know, we just, we didn't feel like we could just kind of break it off at that point and take off for a couple of weeks. The devotees all took off. They all went to San Francisco. They all came back just, you know, in bliss, you know, tell us all these stories. Prabhupada was there, it's huge carts, little Golden Gate Park, thousands of people. And we're all, you know, Bill, Bill Walsh, uh, he later became Murti Das, uh, and I were just kind of crestfallen, you know, kind of, why didn't we take that opportunity, you know? But Vishnu Jana Swami uh, was very, very uh, smart in that he said, uh, well, you know, Shilpapa is going to be in New York City, you know, a couple of days. You could go up and see him there. But anyway, there's a break in our lives to where, by golly, by gosh, it was possible, you know. And so uh, we decided, all right, you know. And so we got tickets on a Greyhound bus, and we had Bill's wife go buy us some sheets, and we got some writ dye, and we dyed them. And we shaved our heads as best we could. And we got on this Greyhound bus. These two guys from Texas, you know, rode up to New York City, you know. Heard that the temple was on Henry Street. You know, got over there. Well, little did we know, there was another devotee named Subhananda. And Subhananda was in Austin at the time. Kind of watched us come into Christian consciousness. Knew that Bill Walsh was a professor at the University of Texas. In, in art, and so, and Subhananda went to New York City a little bit ahead of us, just so happened that he went there a little bit ahead of us, and so he told Shilpavit's secretary that this professor from University of Texas and his assistant are coming, you know, and so we were in New York City at the Henry Street Temple for all of, you know, 45 minutes or an hour maybe, when Shil Prabhupada's secretary came and said, Shil Prabhupada would like to see you. you know? and we were just floored, you know. What? <laughs> you know? I mean, this was too good to be true. So, I mean, you know, we were amazed and impressed at the New York temple. It was uh, so nice. Bhavananda, I think, was temple president there. And, you know, he painted the temple room very nicely and had beautiful deities and deity worship, and it was just. We'd been taken around to see the artists, you know, because they knew we were artists. And uh, we met Bardaraj and different devotees that were involved in the art department. We go upstairs, and uh, there's Prabhupada's room. We were in kind of a foyer, and there was a stairway going down, which I found out later is going down to Prabhupada's uh, bathroom. And we were told to just kind of wait there. and so. We were standing there in this kind of nice entry room, fresh paint, powder blue, white, white trim, powder blue. And we see this head coming up from on the stairway. It was Prabhupada. And uh, so we, I mean, at that point, I didn't even know how to say Namah Om Vishnu Padaya, you know. I just knew that I needed to offer respects. And so both of us hit the floor. And Prabhupada had, Evidently, just finished uh, using the restroom downstairs. Had just a little gumption and had his, his Brahmin thread wrapped around his ear, and came up and greeted us very warmly. He invited us into his room. He, first thing he said is, "Is do you like this? You know, because we could smell that. You know, it, the devotees had, had prepared his quarters. You know, and painted the walls and stuff freshly." We said yes, and I asked Murdy Das later, because Murdy Das. He said the first thing that came into his mind is, this is a king. He's like an Egyptian king, you know. And Prabhupada immediately, you know, first thing he said was to dismiss that. He said, said, this is not for me. He said, this is a teaching institution. 
that anyone can come in and learn about Krishna consciousness. Prabhupada took us into this little darshan room. He sat behind a little table. We sat on the floor in front of him. And for, you know, next 20 or 30 minutes, we had this wonderful darshan with him. And he talked about uh, how the sun may be... He said, right now, the sun is going down here in America. You know, it's in the late afternoon. But somewhere, the sun is high up, and it's, it's the same sun. So he was telling us how, how Krishna appears, you know, different times, in different places for different reasons. But he's always appearing somewhere, you know. Krishna's ever present, and even though we may not see him right now, but he is, he is there. He is available. But well, we were just dumbstruck. I mean, you know, I was practically in tears, and I didn't know what how to talk, how to, you know, just, you know, and, and Prabhupada immediately brought, you know, he asked us how Texas was, and, is it hot there, how's Vishen Jana Swami, do you like a dhoti, you know, I know in Texas a lot of people wear jeans, is, is a devote, you know, is a dhoti comfortable, I mean, you know, just this small talk, you know. He had his, his uh, secretary bring in a, I think it was a drawing or a painting of the Panchatattva, he said, you're, you're artists. Yes, Shri Prabhupada. You're sculptors. Yeah. He said, this is, you know, he explained who the Panchatakva was. And he said, can you make figures like this? Yeah. And I was like, yes, Shri <laughs> <You know? laughs> Murthy was a little wiser and he, he said, we'll try. You know, because neither one of us had really studied figurative sculpture. I mean, we were both artists. We were both sculptors but we were doing abstract he was carving these very abstract stone pieces and I was doing these welded steel things we fiddled around with clay and figured fiddled around with figurative stuff but never had no formal training but we were all you know yeah sure whatever so probably said you know I'd like for these to be about 40 inches high 